everybody, my name is Eric Basso. I'm the engineering manager for splicing at AFL, and I'm here today to show off the LZM125. This machine is capable of both fusion and ablation, so we're going to be showing off a combination cladding mode stripper and ball lens today. So right now we have a 400 micron multi-mode fiber loaded onto the right side of this machine. That's going to be heated by the CO2 laser we have back here. So this CO2 laser bounces off a series of optics, um, mirrors we have inside of here, to heat the fiber from both sides on the fusion path. Now once that's done, that's going to be used for the ball lens. We'll slowly push the fiber into that heating zone, which will expand the fiber through surface tension into a ball. Once that ball was completed, uh, the second portion of the special function is going to activate. Now what makes this machine special is there's another mirror, uh, a beam director, that can switch on and move it through this beam focuser down here. So that beam focuser forces the light into a very fine point, and that actually ablates the glass as opposed to melting it. So it will evaporate from those holes. So we'll be left with a melted ball in the front and holes running down the neck. So this is that special function of the fiber being heated into a ball. Uh, you're not gonna be able to see much through the exposure, but when it's completed, you'll see a little ball lens on the end of that fiber. After it creates the ball, it's gonna move down the neck and begin ablating holes for the cladding mode stripper. So you see those little flashes of light. Those are actually holes being drilled into the fiber. After each one, it's gonna rotate, translate, and then move. So the ultimate effect you'll end up with is a spiral full of holes. So this is the simple ball lens we created. Um, and then down this neck, you can actually see those spiral uh, holes that we dug into that fiber. So again, that's gonna act as a cladding mode stripper prior to getting to the ball lens, which can either be a focuser or a functional end cap. Also got another few things the machine made here. So this is another cladding mode stripper but this one uses grooves instead. Um, we've experimented with several different uh, topologies or architectures for manufacturing these cladding light strippers and we've discovered variable depth grooves. Uh, you can strip out the heat much more uniformly and this machine enables that. So you can see the grooves will get a little bit deeper as we get closer to the edge. So there's another example of a cladding mode stripper for you. And then finally, so, I have, it's another ball lens, but this one is a little bit more special. So you can see that's a 125 micron fiber spliced to a 400 micron fiber. And then the machine translated, broke the 400 micron fiber and created that nice pretty 1.2 millimeter ball lens. The potential applications for this, this is three examples, but we have Axicon ball lenses, tapers, um, any number of shapes, essentially, as long as you have an idea of what you want to do, this machine can help facilitate your glass shaping needs. So this has been an example of three different components that this machine is capable of making, but it's capable of making many more, tapers, end caps, axicon ball lenses, etc. To see what this machine is capable of doing for you, visit us at aflglobal.com.